I can stand here and I can see what's going on with, below my feet. It enables you to, to target your investigations much more accurately. It's a relatively cheap method that kind of sets out the site so you can kind of get a feel for what features are there, what you might want to investigate, and it can be done several times over the same site without any intrusion. You would try and use uh, as many methods as you can. Some give you a plan of the site that you're investigating, while others give you a section through the ground. They're all um, methods by which you, you, you fire a pulse of some description into the ground and then you measure the reflection that comes back from it. The best process we found this week is electrical resistance, but doing vertical profiles of the ground so we can look down two metres. We can see what's along the line of a section, say one and a half metres down. And if we do a number of lines, we can see if that same feature appears in each of those lines at the same point. And we can be reasonably sure then that you've got a feature. So this is the latest readings from the, the last profile they've done, which gives us a, a section through the, the ground, which will then hopefully be able to interpret in some way. So. One technique might work extraordinarily well down here and another may fail completely. But if you put one or two of these techniques together, then they might produce some significant results that you would like to use.